Hello everyone. In this video we're going to do our, I think, second example um, dealing with the logarithmic decrement. Um, so we have a graph. It's not to scale or anything. It's just to, to, to show what we're actually working with, even though we don't really need it. Um, the problem statement is a, as follows. The initial amplitude of the damp harmonic oscillator is 16 centimeters and it goes down to 1 centimeter after 100 oscillations. Find the damping ratio given that it has a period of 6.9 seconds. So first off, you're probably familiar with uh, the following equation for the um, logarithmic decrement. And it's that delta is equal to the natural log of the amplitude at some time and the amplitude one period later. That's true, and that's good, but in this case we have a hundred oscillations later. Well, it turns out that there's this other formula for the logarithmic decrement that you might not know, and it's 1 over n times the natural log of the amplitude at time 0 divided by the amplitude at uh, time n. So we can actually work with that. Um, what else? Um, well, it turns out that this is also equal to, and that's true for both. So you could say that this is equal to b times the um, period, where uh, the amplitude as a function of time is equal to the initial amplitude multiplied by the exponential of minus b times time. All right, and that corresponds to the equation of the exponential decay envelope. So. Oops, minus b times t. Okay. All right, so what else do we need to know? Yeah, well, it also turns out that b is equal to the damping ratio times the natural circular frequency. And as you know, the natural circular frequency expressed as a function of the period is simply 2 pi over t, or if you want to work with frequency, it's 2 pi times f. All right, so if we isolate the damping ratio, that would be equal to bt divided by 2 pi. And if we find the logarithmic decrement, then b is equal to the logarithmic decrement divided by t. And so if we combine all of that, then we have delta over 2 pi. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's get to it. We'll take the logarithmic decrement. That's equal to 1 over 100 multiplied by the logarithmic decrement of the amplitude at time 0. In the problem statement it says um, 16 centimeters divided by 1. 100 period is a later, and that will give you. I didn't actually do this before, so I'll do it now. The natural log of 16 over 100, and that's 0 0.02773. Okay, cool. The damping ratio 
is equal to um, <laughs> zero point zero two seven seven three divided by two pi, and that's equal to zero point zero four oops. 0 0.004413 okay there's another formula to check our answer because this is what we have for an answer there's another formula you might know and that is zeta is equal to the logarithmic decrement divided by the square root of um, 4 pi square plus this. And the result for that is. On. square root of 4 times pi squared plus the logarithmic decrement squared and as you should expect just wanted to make sure it gives exactly the same thing so you could avoid doing all these shenanigans here and simply use this formula. All right, instead. And that's it. So I'll put this uh, this worksheet as a PDF, and I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.